Hey everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. Sorry for the abrupt cutaway on the, the running saw. I was trying to get this thing run dry for storage. So, one thing about this style of saw, trying to empty the fuel without making a giant mess, is almost impossible with the handle where it is. So, I chose to just let the damn thing hang here and idle. So, anyway, looking at a Promac 800. Uh, don't see too many of these sitting on my bench. Uh, I decided to snap one up when I found it at a good price. And I'll hold on to it. Uh, it's going to go into the collection. This is late enough that if I ever decide to, oh, you know, do something with a late model 925 and a few other late model saws in the way of a cutoff, this thing would, uh, this would qualify. It's got electronic ignition virtually certain it's got a governed carb, although to be honest I did not take a peek while I had it apart. Well, color me surprised. That is not a governed carb. Hey, that's interesting. Possibilities there. Anyway, this one didn't have didn't have too many problems as it came in. Uh, somebody ran into the trap that I'm sure lots of somebody's have run into. The starter shaft on these bigger saws needs to be longer than a standard 1010 by now a good half inch or so. This had a 1010 shaft in there so it was just enough to catch those flywheel poles and just slip slip slip. You couldn't even pull the thing over so that was a little disappointing. Uh, I mean, I knew there was something wrong with it when I bought it, but uh, I really wanted to get a compression number. Look at this. Ridiculous. And this is one that was not manufactured with a decompression valve. And no, it's not just plugged off. I pulled that bolt out and verified it's not even drilled through. So that's just a support. Uh, there was an option Again, I don't know any of the details of it, if it was, you know, just one year versus another. But the decompression valve would also hold that bracket in place. And I was willing to drill it out, but the threads between that little bolt and a true decompression valve are different. These things have a... Come on now. What I would call a fine thread, and the bolt is definitely not fine thread. So, rather than screw something up, I'm just going to leave it as it is. You got to have a hell of a grip on this saw to start the thing. Uh, I finally uh, decided drop starting it is the easiest, setting the, the tip on something and just locking the chain break. Not glamorous, but for something that's Oh, that hard to pull over it's better than breaking your knuckles or ripping it out of your hand and God knows what else so anyway uh, it's in pretty good shape you can see it doesn't have a lot of paint wear I still haven't hit this with a, a final cleanup there is some broken uh, fins on the muffler guard right here and again without a decomp valve I have no idea why or how those would get broken out uh, I suppose something got dropped on it or something. Chain brake is complete and functional. A lot of guys threw those away. They hated them. I don't know. I, I don't mind them. I don't need one. I don't mind it. Uh, but when you're doing a collector saw, I, I kind of like having them. So, anyway. The Archer bars, because there has just been not a whole lot on uh, eBay in the way of 28 inch bars and that's really what I wanted on this thing is a 28 inch bar so the guys from China sell another one it is what it is the AV mounts I was torn on whether I was going to replace them or not Let's see if I can get it you know that's not a huge amount of movement and I don't see I mean there's a little bit of stress cracking there I, I don't know I've got a set on hand if they ever fail, if I need them, cool. If not, whatever. But anyway, a nice clean Pro Mac 800 going in the collection.